Well, hi everybody. Another day. Snakes out. Snakes, I think, having a good time, enjoying themselves while they appear to be having a good time. But today, I do have a topic, which is a question that was asked. Do snakes stop growing? Well, it might seem that way, I must admit, once they're mm, older and I'm talking how old? I can't put a age, but Jack, for example, is eight years old, almost, from what I know. And he's still got a lot of growing to do. And so is my battery, because it needs to grow in power. And it's about to go flat. So I'm just going to stop, guys, put in a fresh battery, and I'll be back. Okay, so where was I? Do snakes, Jack, do you stop growing? No, Jack hasn't stopped growing. He's got quite a bit of growing to do yet. Lily, she's still got some growing to do as well. But what actually happens, guys? is they never really stop growing but they certainly do very much slow down as they get older. Another point is as they get older they don't eat as much either because their appetites slow down with their growth. So they, they hit a certain, so, and of course, you can just, at this particular stage, feed and feed and feed and feed and end up with this enormous, probably very unhealthy snake actually. But if you let your snakes grow slow and steady, they will come to a point where that growth will slow down. And you'll notice that with their shed cycles. They won't shed as often either. So they never ever stop growing, but they certainly very much slow down, which I guess is a good thing because if you think about it, you know, your snakes can shed on average every eight weeks. The bigger your snake gets, of course, the duration between sheds can be longer and to prime can be longer as well for them, the bigger that they get. But they don't stop completely growing. Now, I... Lily Lou, where are you heading? Now, Lily, right now, is not eating. So she's not going to be growing very much. When I say not eating, Lily right now hasn't eaten for about six weeks and that's all due to going into this new enclosure that she's not overly happily about, happy, happily, happy about. She will hopefully adapt to it. Jack, still got a lot of growing to do. Well, in length and in girth. Lily, I don't know, I get the feeling she hasn't got a lot of lengths to go yet. She might completely surprise me. She's not going to be a really girthy snake either, but she's going to thicken up around that midsection as well. I think that happens with snakes just like it does with us humans. We start to get a little bit thicker around the belly, but uh, certainly um, that's just a question that has been asked. I'm trying to get to Jack so you might be able to see him 
I'm exploring in Lily's enclosure at the moment trying to I think to find Lily who is over in his enclosure spewing hey Jack hey what do you think where's Lily gone hey well, at least I know where each of them they are at the moment. Generally, I'm trying to keep up with Jack and then I'm trying to keep up with where Lily is. I've got it pretty easy right now, actually. What are you doing, Lil? What are you getting up to? Hey? This is Jack's space. So, they get bigger, they slow down, they shed less, they also eat less, uh, or less often. They still eat the same size feeder, but they slow down on how often you actually feed them. So, you'll see it, you'll know it yourself when that is actually happening and I can't like I said put a time on it an age on it because every snake is absolutely different as well here comes my boy what do you think Jack I think I've mentioned in another video that I did last weekend the Jack would probably prefer this enclosure and Lily would probably, because this happens all of the time. I open up Jack's door, I open up Lily's door. Lily comes out and goes into Jack. Jack comes out and goes into Lily's. What is this? Are they trying to tell me something? That I want this one, let her have that one and vice versa? I'm not really sure. Um, I'm tempted actually to to swap it over for about a week well there's not that much I have to do actually only thing I've got to do is maybe put the temps up in Jack's for her and lower the temps a little bit in this one for Jack and I get the feeling they'd be perfectly fine but that's not the way I want to do it you know I've, I've got plans already guys so you have to be happy with what you've got right now that's all I can say so I'll just let them do this and have some fun while they're out and let them explore and do the things that snakes do which is explore check everything out don't you Jack is just smelling, lip, tasting them. Taste and smell, guys. That's what happens. They taste and then they smell. Kind of one after the other. And I'm sure you're all aware of that Jacobson's organ that they have. Which is what they smell with. What well, they taste and then that smell. So, very clever amazingly clever where are you going yes Lily that's where Lily puts her head to Jack and goes through there but your girth is a little bit fatter than hers you wouldn't fit all the way through there at all Lily can still get in between the two bamboo slots there Jack wouldn't, I know he wouldn't, although then again, once again, they surprise you with where they can fit, though they have known to get it wrong themselves, but more often than not, they know what they can fit through. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's the answer to the question. Of course, if I'm wrong, somebody knows something a bit more than me uh, put it in a comment but from what I know 
that's exactly what happens to snakes. They just slow on down as they get older. Pretty dark in there, Jack, actually. And I think I've got, I think this uh, heat panel blocks out the light over this side, actually. Certainly doesn't get all the way down to the ground in in this enclosure. It does for Jessie, but I think Lily's got a much much more stuff hanging around her than what uh, Jessie does. So everybody, I'm going to finish up here. Always take care of yourself, your family, and these beautiful creatures. What do you think, Jack? Do I take care of you? Me? I try, guys. I really do try hard to take care of them as best as I can. So ciao.